بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته One of the things that uh, we witnessed during this current crisis was that when people were told that they would soon go on lockdown some of their true selfish nature came out and so they went into a frenzy panic and started hoarding and stockpiling on items for home we even saw fights breaking out at supermarkets for basic things like toilet paper why because such people they have a materialistic mindset and all they care about is their own self they don't care about others as long as I have what I need even though there are others in society who are perhaps more in need than them who are more weaker or more vulnerable than them on the other hand we find that in Muslim countries and Muslim societies instead of such a frenzy panic and fear we find that people they joined campaigns to help the needy and the vulnerable in society what is it that makes Muslims to care for others in such difficult times and not be so selfish it's basically what Islam teaches us about caring for others and building a strong bond between one another and so a Muslim he feels the pain of his Muslim brother or sister and they're suffering no matter where he is on top of that Islam lays strict rules on hoarding the Prophet Sallallahu said no one hoards except one who is in error and so the same can be said about raising the price we saw people raising the price on essential needs and so in times of adversity when people are in need of these essential items it's haram it's completely forbidden to uh, raise the price on these essential needs we saw people doubling tripling the price of things like face masks and sanitizers and so on and so forth and so the reason why Islam forbids this is because it leads to others being harmed and one of the golden rules in our Sharia is that harm shall not be inflicted nor reciprocated and so all of this shows us the laws of Islam they have come to bring harmony and peace between members of society such that no one is done injustice to no one is oppressed no one is harmed and so we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect each and every single one of us in these very difficult times wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh